Hey everybody, Sam Carmichael here from Wake Forest School of Medicine in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I couldn't be more excited to share our recent article in the Journal of the American College of Surgeons entitled, The Story of Blood for Shock Resuscitation, How the Pendulum Swings. Along with my co-authors, Drs. Lynn, Evangelista, and Holcomb, we explore the journey that blood transfusion for hemorrhagic shock has taken over time. What began as an experimental therapy with unclear indications has evolved into the cornerstone of treatment for the bleeding trauma patient. The road from there to here is paved with several critical milestones. The discovery of blood typing in the early 20th century allowed for matching between donor and recipient. At the same time, advances in aseptic technique and blood preservation translated into safe transfusion practices and blood banking. The technological innovations of the world wars brought to the foreground a need for efficient blood transfusion in the setting of massive casualty. Multiple forms of component therapy were tested to find the optimal resuscitative fluid for the wounded war fighter. While whole blood was considered to be the ideal for the treatment of hemorrhagic shock, logistical challenges, infectious disease, blood fractionation, and financial opportunities further drove practice toward blood component therapy. As modern trials have asserted the value of whole blood in the forms of massive transfusion, it is likely that whole blood transfusion will once again be the fluid of choice for hemorrhagic shock. Thank you again to the Journal of the American College of Surgeons for their publication of our manuscript. It is truly an ongoing story with too many heroes for one narrative.